Guys, it is so cold out here right now. It is a wind chill of 14 degrees and I can barely speak. This is Big Bible Mini Movies. I am Sean Jordan and we're out here today at Jamestown. Jolie is running a half marathon in this weather while I'm bundled up warm. And this is a half marathon that she's run a couple of times before. I think one time her time was 2.01, two hours and one minute. And then one time it was 2.02.30. And she's trying today to beat that elusive two hour mark. So we're gonna see if she does it. While we're doing that, I want to talk to you about what the Bible has to say about enduring, about persevering in the winters of life. So when things are difficult, when there's challenges in your life, as a Christian, persevering. That is coming up. Stay tuned. Let's go watch her. So check out all these parallels between running in a race when it's winter and enduring in the challenges of life when it's the most difficult periods of your life. Throughout the New Testament, writers point out this principle that trials, challenges, and suffering should all be viewed through a lens of optimism as potentially beneficial to our growth. Now, running in a harsh climate can make a person stronger been running when things are easy. And whenever you choose to lean on God, when things are difficult or your faith is tested, it draws you closer to God for all occasions, for every time. When Christians lean on God through life's challenges, there is a clear progression of personal growth. It's that suffering that leads to perseverance and that perseverance that leads to character and that character that leads to hope. And you see this in running. You're doing awesome. A big component of running is suffering, and if you endure the suffering, you make progress, and these people in the cold are suffering today. When Jolie got her first treadmill when we were first married, she'd never really run before. And I'll never forget the classic line when I asked her if she would ever run a marathon. She said, oh no, there's no way. Those people are crazy. I have no idea how they can do that. Well, four marathons and countless half marathons later, we are here at this run in the bitter cold. Now, specifically, when our challenges test our faith, we should be optimistic as we persevere because it's the strengthening of our faith that aids us in becoming complete and whole Christians. In other words, there's no other way you can become a whole Christian without facing suffering and leaning on God. And if you reflect on your life, you probably intuitively know this to be true. Like the suffering in my life, if I didn't endure that suffering, I would not be the same person that I am today. Whenever you have suffered, whenever you've leaned on God, that has been a huge part in shaping your identity, and it's been a huge part in making you a whole and total Christian. That's the internal benefit. The external benefit of this Christian optimism and suffering is the blessing of sharing that optimism and patiently enduring alongside them as they endure the winters of life, as they're going through the hardest times in their life. You can ask the question, how might God use this thing that you are going through to work for your good and your growth as you love Him and live for Him through it? And it's easier to endure when you know that someone has endured alongside you. Why does Jolie run fast and half marathons? It's because she is running alongside people that are also suffering. And many of these people have been down this road before and have suffered in this way before and have made it through. In the same way, as you suffer, look for those that you can be a blessing to, to remind them, look, if you lean on God, this can work for your good. In the end, Jolie did not break the two hour mark and I so wish for that for her, but I am proud of her just for finishing and that is the ultimate goal. And in our Christian life, the ultimate goal is to finish. We persevere under trial so that in the end, we've stood the test and we can receive the crown. 